Hey guys, so today I thought I'd do a little tutorial on how to do a dispersion effect, which is when the uh, dust or particles or whatever kind of fly off the person. So what we're going to do real fast is we're going to crop this image, um, just because we don't want uh, too much of the outer background to be selected when we select our white. And this definitely does work best when you have just a white background. Um, we're going to go back into the crop tool and grab this real fast. Uh, so if you have a white background or a solid color background, this works best. So what we're going to do is we're going to select, go to our color range, and uh, um, we're going to hold down shift and keep clicking on areas that we want to select because this will keep adding to them. And we'll kind of grab some of that stuff over there. And that looks pretty decent for this. We're going to go to our fuzziness and just add that in. That looks all right. I'm going to hit OK. Now, so what this done is it's made a selection of the background. Um, we want a selection of me, so we're going to hit Command Shift I, or you can go up to Select and Inverse, or Inverse, sorry, and then it just creates the selection of just me. Um, and now we're going to go to our Quick Selection tool, which is W, and we're going to keep it on the plus. If you want to take out some selection, you can hold down Option, and it'll go to the minus and remove it. We want to add in my socks add in here and we're going to add in down here for the shoelaces oh and with some of this highlights um, so that looks pretty good so now what we're going to do is we're going to push command j and we're going to just duplicate that layer which is basically going to make a new copy of what was selected which was just me so we're going to turn that off we can keep that there and we're going to make another layer of this and these are the two layers we're going to be working with so to start creating the magic um, we're going to go to the filter liquify and for this we're just going to have it um, disperse off this way and you can do whatever you want you can make the feet kind of go but whatever you basically pull and liquefy is going to be the particles so we're just going to do this kind of fast you know obviously if you're doing it for a, a client or something um, you'd probably take a little more time but um, this looks pretty good you want to kind of just grab whatever you can to create the color. Um, there we go. Cool, that looks pretty good. And we're going to hit OK. And then we're going to turn this layer off real fast. As so what we're going to do here is we're going to make a layer mask. When you normally push this, you have the layer mask, which is white, which shows the layer. We're going to hold down Option and click on the layer mask, which hides the layer. Um, and we'll turn this back on real fast. Um, we're going to go to, to uh, the brush tool and um, I have some particle tool or particle brushes. I think I just grabbed them off of DeviantArt or, or somewhere off the internet and they're all over the place. Um, we're going to make it a little bit smaller. What you can do, and I'll show you how to do this, probably won't do it on each brush, but you can go to your shape dynamics here in your brush tool. Um, we're going to go to the shape dynamics. We're going to turn the roundness jitter on a little bit. Um, angle jitter what the what this does is it'll rotate your brush just a little bit um, each time you click on it and we're gonna go to scattering we're gonna bring the scatter count up just a little bit and the count of actual pixel or actual brush shapes I think that was probably where it was at but we'll keep it there okay and then uh, we're gonna change our brush color to white and then we're just gonna kind of paint in some of these uh, areas here. Make it down here. Gonna go up here. And my computer is a little bit laggy since we're using a larger size image with QuickTime uh, screen recorder. Okay, we're gonna make this kind of bigger. Gonna click another one right here. So that looks pretty good. And then we're gonna go change our brush out. We're gonna just grab one of these ones. Uh, for this one, you can probably just click anywhere, click right there, click up here. Okay, that looks not bad. And then we're going to grab one more brush and just click around just a little bit here. Okay, and uh, that looks pretty all right for this tutorial. Okay, we're going to go up to the top layer now. We're going to create a new mask. This one's just going to be a white mask, so you can just push the regular brush or the regular button. And we're going to keep our same brush, we'll make it smaller, um, and we're going to go to black, and we're still on 100% opacity, 
and we're just going to click down here. And if it goes, you know, on the rest of the body, that's fine. We're going to clean that up just a little bit later. Um, so we're going to click down here. We'll go to another brush just to vary it up. We'll grab that guy. Click through here. And so bigger chunks look pretty cool to me, I think. Um, we're going to make it a little bit smaller. Okay. Even smaller still. And what's fun to do sometimes is uh, you go up and you grab just a regular brush with a soft edge. Um, just with the very end edge, you can um, make it pretty small. You can go and just kind of wipe out that edge on the model or on the person. Um, and if you have a lot more particles around the edge, near the edge, it looks pretty cool because it looks like, you know, it's totally broken off the edge here. So we might actually just go grab this brush here, make it pretty small, and then uh, we'll kind of grab just some smaller things. This one here would be pretty good to have the, some of the shape dynamics on. We'll just kind of angle it up and uh, bring our scatter back down right there. And if you're uh, if you if you're sliding these things and they're just going out of out of control, you can hold down Option and it'll go up by single numbers or single digits. Um, and it's pretty handy. This works on any slider in Photoshop. If you're when you slide it, it's just going all over the place. Just hold down Option, it'll get more precise. And uh, uh, if you wanted to go crazy, then you can hold down Shift, it'll go in bigger um, bigger number increments. Got that. Before I was tapping, right now I'm just kind of, you know, painting. I have a Wacom tablet, and so I'm just painting on here, and it kind of gives a more smoother effect. It takes out bigger chunks. So, right there, that looks pretty decent. Um, and this is what we're going to do now is we're going to grab our regular brush, and we're going to go with white, because that shows our mask. And we're going to paint this back in, and uh, sometimes. What you can do is you can get to the edge and you can grab another brush and uh, you can paint back in you can paint back in with brush texture um, so that way it looks a little bit more uh, realistic rather than having a kind of a soft edge um, like you can see down here it's just kind of faded halfway through the um, brush so if you wanted to go through you can paint in but I'm not going to take too much time doing that. So and you can see up here it's kind of a little bit smeary. Um, when we put it on the other background, which we're going to do right now, we're going to drag this one in here. We're going to go to our Move tool, grab it, and just kind of drag it in here and drop it. And then different path. Yep, we're fine with that. Okay. I'm just going to center this just a little bit. And then we're going to pull it down just below. So you kind of see down here, you get um, some of the streakiness. Uh, you can see when you uh, turn that layer off and hide this layer, you can kind of see some of the streakiness right there. But it all kind of depends on how much work you want to take when you're uh, creating the dust particles. But this shows you kind of um, what's happening um, but this also gives you kind of an idea how to do the effect. Um, so you can kind of work with it and kind of manipulate it better into your own uh, work and your own images. Um, so now you have kind of the idea how to do it. But uh, if you guys do have any questions or comments or anything, leave them in the comments field and I will do my best to answer them. And uh, thanks you guys for watching.